All right, guys, welcome back to Corey Dairy. We've got another episode of Snack Shopping. We have another special guest today. It's Curls, baby. Welcome. Good to see you, man. Let's do this. All right, mate, just get over All it. Right. Let's just do this. Come on. The chips. Now, what sticks out to you the most? So, chips in this country are outstanding, mm. but there is one in particular that I absolutely mm. adore these. Two reasons why I love these. Number one, they are ridged. Oh. Ridged chips hold the flavor. Everyone knows that. It's oh. insane. Number two, these are the definitive chips that go with kiwi onion dip, and I won't hear a word against that. When you have a bite of those chips, how do you feel? What I like about these, they are just acidic enough. When you put the chip to your mouth, your lips feel it before the chip goes in. You're sort of like, ah, it is just amazing. It just makes me want to get down on my knees sort of thing, like, huh? No, like, and, <laughs> and bow down to them, like, you know. Oh, th yeah, yeah, no, me too. So we've gone through the snacks over there. Now I want to know something personal. There's one tattoo I've seen on your body that really sticks out to me. Can you guess which one it is? This one. This was actually nominated for an award. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah. Worst tattoo in the Pacific region. That's not the one I was sort of looking at. So it's actually this one right here. Now, this is a Samoan traditional sort of tattoo, is it? Correct, Samoan tattoo. And it was given to me wow. very, very kindly by an absolute legend called Tua uh, in Pornaki right here. It was really personal. It's obviously connected to a story in my life, something that took place in 2018. Yeah. Pretty tragic, you know, I won't bring the mood down too much, but yeah. it's a really important story. It means a lot to me. And I want to see this as my commitment to Polynesian culture throughout the rest of my life. And you have been quite an advocate for the Polynesian culture, even though you aren't even Polynesian, but that's something you've sort of come into the country and, and sort of loved, haven't you? Correct. I mean, I think to come to Aotearoa and not appreciate Pacific Island culture, Māori culture, any kind of Polynesian culture, not only are you doing those cultures a disservice, you're also doing yourself a disservice. You are robbing yourself of an enriching, educational, and to be honest, mind-blowingly beautiful experience. Curls, as you know, in New Zealand, we've got two leaders of dairy milk chocolate, Miraka Academy, Whitaker's Creamy Milk Chocolate, the Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate. Now, which one's your pick? Uh, can I just grab that for a sec? Yeah, Thank bro. Thank you. Um, just... That was completely unnecessary. Anyway. Whitaker's Creamy Milk, tell me about that and why you love it. First time I had Whitaker's Creamy Milk, April 2020, absolutely delicious. When I, one of these little squares first passed my lips, it was a spiritual experience. This stuff is amazing, it's exquisite. It's the yeah. perfect amount of sweetness, the texture's amazing, it's big, it's girthy. Just how we like it, eh, Kills? We... So, Kills. Too close, like... too close. Sorry. Come on. Uh, it's the All Blacks t-shirt. Tell us the most beautiful places that you've been to. It's still a bit too close. Sorry. Carry on. The most beautiful places you've been to in New Zealand. Like you walk around with your little GoPro stick, explain to us the most beautiful places. Okay, firstly, it's not a GoPro. It costs an entire $11 from PB Tech. I'm a, I'm a lo-fi kind of guy. Some of the places I've been to in this country that I absolutely love. I've not been lucky enough to head to the likes of Waiheke Island just yet, but I want to do a big, big, big shout out to Mighty P-Town, okay? Porirua is the place, what was that? There's something on your shoulder. Okay. White Tangarua, Cannons Creek, it's just beautiful. That's where I like going. So what about Queenstown and all those places? Yeah, I mean, Queenstown's all right if you're a backpacker and you want to go there for 20 minutes to film a mountain or something. If you want <laughs> culture, if you want enjoyment, if you want the heart of what makes this country tick, then it's places like Cannons Creek, it's places like South Auckland. That's real culture, in my view. So, Kills, obviously pies are a staple in New Zealand. I know you love them, I love them, we all love them. A go-to for you is the steak and cheese. Walk me through it. This is the number eight steak and cheese. Now, in maybe the second video that I ever did, I tried a heap of dairy pies, and this, number eight, steak and cheese, was the outstanding winner. It's slowly cooked, the steak. I don't know what it is, but it just melts in your mouth, doesn't it? It does, and there's one little secret about this one. It's steak and cheese, but they have cheese on top of the pie as well as inside. Imagine cheese on top of anything, you know? <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Maybe take a bite if you don't want to try it or do you want to save it for later? Let's save it for, can I put it, I'll pop it in my pocket and take it home. No, you're gonna have to pay for it later. Okay. Second cheese. You. I've personally taken this out of the fridge because I know this has caught your eye. Why does it stick out to you? In Aotearoa, there are two main types of chocolate milk. You've got Whitaker's Lewis Road Creamery and you've got Puhoi Valley Real Chocolate Milk. It's neck and neck. But I'd say Lewis Road 
go for that if you prefer creamy and milky, but if you prefer chocolatey, this is what you want. And always, always, always underneath, get that bunda nice and shaken every single you, time. You want me to shake mine? No, 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 no. no, no you should that. shake my bunda. No, this, this, not, don't. When why do I, is he, why does he? I thought you wanted no, to do it now. No, don't do that. When should I do it then? No, never. After this, we'll talk about it. So, girls, you brought me over here. Tell me why. Now, admittedly, this isn't a kiwi snack, but something did catch my eye. This little bad boy, gada masala. Gada masala. Now, why is that? Well, not many people know this. I am actually part Bengali. So Bangladesh. One, indeed, yeah. Oh, wow. So one thing that I really, really enjoy is South Asian cuisine. It's absolutely delicious, and this is an essential in any solid South Asian dish. Well, not any, but quite a lot. It's amazing. It's quite spicy, though, isn't it? Well, maybe not so much, but then again, we have got kiwi hot and regular hot. And kiwi hot is about as spicy as milk, I'd say. Well, I don't do kiwi hot. When I go to Nando's, I have lemon and herb. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that makes And tomato sauce. That makes sense. Oh. Now, what made you get into the content? Well, since I've been in Aotearoa, I wanted to sort of document my time here. It just started off as a gimmicky thing where I was in my bedroom and saying stuff like, 10 things they don't tell you before moving to New Zealand, or 10 things you'll only know if you grew up in New Zealand. I've watched that video like 20 times. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. And you know, I enjoyed it, but I wanted to take things to the next level, and that's when I started, as I say, going to places that people don't really tend to film, like Porodua, like South Auckland, like West Auckland, because I'd seen so many videos of Queenstown. I'd seen yeah. so many videos of Milford Sound. Obviously, they're beautiful, but to me, that doesn't get to the heart of the real Aotearoa. It just doesn't scratch the surface. There's hidden gems out there, isn't there? Well, completely. And like I said, those places are the real culture of this country, and I love them. You taught me something about New Zealand, I've been here for my whole life, so thank you for that. Well, thank you. It's good to hear that. And I think, like I say, as amazing as Kiwis are, I think a lot of Kiwis don't actually honestly realize how lucky they are to have this incredible country at their fingertips. And I know that a lot of people sometimes talk about being keen to get out of here and do an OE or whatever. And obviously that's important, of course, but please explore your own backyard before you go exploring the front garden or somewhere else. This country is incredible. All right, Kels, now's the fun part. You're with me and you get to grab whatever you want. So what speaks to you? Awesome, we're gonna kick off with these. A nice bag of Dorries. Dorries? That's no, no, not Dorries. No, Dorries, not Dorries. Forget it. Right. Thai sweet chili is a flavor that we don't actually get back in London. When I first had them, my mind expanded and exploded. Yeah, I can tell. Um, my favorite flavor as well. Anything else? Yeah, I've actually been looking. <laughs> Candy floss in a bag. What's the expiry date? 2052. <laughs> that is mental. It's so light. What is that? Yeah, I'll go for that as well, please, mate. Cheers. That's Why are you making fun of it? No, 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 no. I like it. It's good. Kels, you brought me to this section. Tell me why. One reason and one reason only. The first thing I ever tried that belonged to New Zealand cuisine was when I was on the airplane coming over. Cookie time. Cookie time. Oh, my days and nights. Triple chocolate, you can't beat it. Microwave for 20 seconds, forget it. Oh, Mind blowing. Yeah. I like that microwave technique. Obviously. That's a classic. <laughs> we're gonna head in here, to be honest. Well, we're not gonna head in, yeah, we, won't, we won't fit. Oh, Thank you, mate. Oh, cheers, Rip. Nice guy. Is it the steak and cheese? You know he, he knows it. I yes, know. mate. Nice. Well, Rit, I don't know if you know this, but I love ice cream. Really? And an absolute Kiwi classic is trumpet. Do you heard yeah. of trumpet? Of course, yeah. I've been in New Zealand longer than you. A bit rude. Classic mint is my favorite. I think it just goes so well with chocolate. Are you a fan of trumpet? I mean, yeah, I like trumpet, but mint uh, tastes like toothpaste. I mean, for each of their own, I guess. Tough crowd. All right, Kills, you've come through with the candy floss, the Doritos, cookie time, pie, and the trumpet. For you, special prize of $45. How would you like to pay? Well, I've had quite a good idea. Rather than money, how about I give you something that money cannot buy? Happiness. I'll take a picture of all of this, the outside of the store, and I'll put it on my Instagram story. Um, How's that gonna make us money? They, trust me, people will see it, be like, oh, Crawley Dairy, there'll be queues outside the shop, we'll go down the street, it'll be great. It's a big promise, mate. Yeah, trust me. You're that guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, if you can guarantee it, then sure. I guarantee you will, at least one person will come in here tomorrow. One person? Yeah, I promise you. Okay, mate. Cheers. Go on. Have a good day. Every time. He's influencers, man. <laughs> 